and get up. So he f***ed you. I don't know why he didn't say that. Go ahead and get up. Get in there. He told me. I will f*** you. Do not. I can't listen to you, boy. It's just after seven at night in Lee County, New Mexico, where we join police who are caught up in a sticky situation. Yeah. All right. So uh, we got a call for a 47. Uh, it was a black SUV with that license plate number. So the vehicle was uh, parked right here. Okay. So I parked down there by the key energy to okay. try to see the vehicle pull out so I can get observations of the vehicle because we had a caller that didn't want contact. So at that time, our, uh, somebody said that it, it may be a conflict for us. And then at that time, my mom pulled up next to her. She took off driving, uh, went uh, southbound, and then kind of hit the curb real hard, almost hitting that fence. And then a mod blocked her in. And then that's when I pulled up next to her. First thing I could smell is a uh, strong odor of alcohol emitting from her, inside the vehicle. Told her, because last time we got an internal altercation with her, she refused to get out of the car for like 30 minutes. I told her, uh, due to there being people there, you need to get out of the car. She's like, I'm not getting out. So at that time I pulled her out. Uh, she kind of tussled, fought with us a little bit, and she was placed in the, in the handcuffs. There was an infant inside the car at the time all this happened. Grandma has the, the child now. And Officer Olenek is running the grandma through sky to make sure that the child can get released to uh, to grandma. Okay. Okay. So she's in cuffs right now. Uh, obviously, it's a conflict for us because it's uh, Sergeant White's uh, girlfriend, wife. I don't know. Significant other. I don't know. I don't know what you call it. You heard that right. Police said a sergeant's better or not so better half found herself in some hot water. The woman apparently drove drunk with a baby in the back seat. And there's more. Well, I don't know if you saw it, but she was scratching me. Did you see that? I saw you. So she was started digging her nails in me. And intentional? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, take some pictures of that. Okay, then you can't leave yet. Anybody else get injured besides you? While deputies survey their injuries, let's head over to the patrol car and meet our suspect. Come on, Dave. Come on, Jenny. Yeah, organize. Do you want to see if she'll do a separate thing? Yeah, I was going to talk to her. I'm still talking to her. If you guys want to go that way, I'm sorry. Thank you, guys. Hey, Desiree. So, obviously, we know you were driving, right? And I can clearly smell that you were drinking. I don't know your whole situation. I don't know what's going on. But I just wanted to ask you, do you want to submit to some tests to see if you're fit for to drive? What was that? No? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, what's your name? It's Sanchez. Abby's? What is it? Abby's. No. That's a different officer. Yeah. Why? Do you want that officer? No. Is there something with that officer? As our suspect works to get her affairs in order, let's fast forward as officers take her out of the patrol car. Here, step out. Careful. The other car. Black one. Yeah. identified the woman as 30-year-old Desiree Ortega, who they said was drunk and behind the wheel of her law enforcement lover's car. Let's see what happens next. Ready? You. Go ahead. Okay. No. Go ahead and get told up. me. Go I don't know why he would say that. Go ahead and get he up. He said he f***ed you. I don't okay. know why he would as say that. Go ahead and get up. Okay, let's go. Gross. Go ahead and get, get up. Him. No. Get up. Don't. Hey, go ahead and get up. Get him. No. I'm on go ahead and get up. Get up. Get up. Get up or you're going to go. Get up. You're going to catch more charges. Get up. No. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. What? Get up. Get in there. Watch your step. Hey, just watch your step. Get in there. I'm asking you to get in there, please. All right. All right. Just 
Get up. Me as my okay. Casey and Steel. Ready? He told me. Okay, get up. Jasmine. Okay, hey, get up. No, he told me. Get up. Get in there. He told me. Get up. I will. You do not. Get in there. That's enough. Stop. That's enough. Now knock it off. I'm not going to tell you again. You're going to knock it off. You're not gonna come out here and kick one of my Thank deputies. You. Thank you. Are you gonna Thank stop? You. Are you going Thank to stop? You for the evidence. Are you going to stop? Now stop. Get up. No, thank you. Sit up. Thank you. Sit up, please. Up. No. Thank you for the evidence. No, don't you Get up. Touch Get, up. Me. Get up. Well, that escalated quickly. Looks like our suspect is, let's just say, familiar with our deputies. Let's meet the man she's been referring to. Hola. Hey, um, so it's your vehicle, right? Yep. Okay, do you mind if I look in it? You do anything you need I to do. I just wanted to get your consent nope, before No, free I range. Get... Have, your, have at it. And if I take, like, the container or something, that's fine. whatever you need to do, you have my full permission. Get after it. Okay. Please do whatever you got to do. Okay. Should I still have him sign a consent form? Did you catch that? Let's rewind. It didn't take long for this deputy to discover a bag full of booze in the front seat of the car. Let's continue. What she say was implied consent. She refused. She well, the implied consent. She said yes, and then she started saying some stuff to me. So I don't know if she if it would be wise or what. I mean, you, we can still try. You could still ask her if you don't mind backing me. Yeah, please. absolutely. But if, if she refuses, we'll go straight to us. Okay. First, she said yes. So black cherry. With that empty container in hand, the deputies discuss asking Desiree to take a breathalyzer test. Let's fast forward again and see how this conversation goes. So, since you said no, I have to tell you I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-residential operating privilege for ne for one year. If you are convicted in court of driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to take the test. Do you understand? What happens if, like, I show the video of you with the mod? So, do you I understand? Do you have Do you video? understand? I have the video of you. With the mod. Four. So because you basically don't understand, I have to read it again. All right. I cannot force you All to right. take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-residential operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court of driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to take the test. Do you understand? Hey, look, Desiree, we're trying, to, Desiree we're, we're trying to get a test going. No, listen, listen. Okay? You're going to get read this one more time. It doesn't matter. None of that matters right now. It doesn't matter. No. It really does. Listen, this is what matters. So you need to listen. Which one did you read from? Number four. Okay. I cannot force you to take our test. But if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-residential operating privileges for one year. If you are convicted in a court of driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand? Victor. Do you understand, Desiree? Victor, you know me. Well, at the end of the day, I know a lot of people, okay? You have to listen. You can't be disrespecting her, okay? Well, if she got It doesn't matter. Look, it doesn't matter. Now, do you understand? It does matter. I'm going to read you a second time, and then that's it. You got read four times. I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-residential operating privileges for one year. If you are convicted in a court of driving while under the influence, you will also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand? Do you understand, Desiree? You do understand. At this time, do you wish to take our test? Desiree, do you wish to take the test or not? Desiree, do you wish to take the test or not? Well, we have a job to do. You've already been read twice. I'm going to ask you one more time. Do you want to take the test or not? Okay, we're going to take that as a refusal then. So you want to take the test? 
say yes if you want to yes. take the test. Okay, open your mouth so we can see it and make sure nothing's in it. No, face me. I can't see in there. Pick your tongue up, all the way up. Put your, put your jaw down and pick your tongue up. One more time. Desiree, one more time. I gotta make sure there's nothing in your mouth. Okay. So, do you mind running her through the test then? Because apparently she doesn't like me and she likes me. That's so fine. in order to get it done. Back at the station, our drunken suspect keeps up with her indecision. Hey, everybody, we're going to get you right back to that body cam in just a minute. But here's a question for you. What a lot of the body cams on this channel make clear. I don't know, but the world is just a crazy and totally unpredictable place. Well, one of the most unpredictable things that can happen to you in life is if you get injured. What do you do next? Well, that is why I want to talk to you guys about our amazing partner and sponsor of our body cam channel, Morgan & Morgan. This is a firm with over a thousand attorneys you may want in your corner because they are America's largest injury law firm. They are specialists in this area. And by the way, you know why they're so big? Because they win a lot. Multi-million dollar verdicts and settlements. They make the process super easy for their clients because from starting your claim to uploading documents to talking to your legal team, it can all be done on your smartphone. Also, there's no upfront fee. You only pay them if you win. So if you're injured, you can easily start a claim at forthepeople.com slash lcbodycam. Are you going to take the test or not so we can get you over to the jail? You're not going to take the test? I want to go home. So if you're refusing to take the test? Uh, we can't take you home. No, we can't. So listen up. This is going to be the last time I tell you. You've already been read implied consent five times. Are you going to take the test or not? If you say anything other than a yes or a no, that's your answer is no. If you say yes, then we'll get you in here we'll take the test. Those are your options. All right, let's get up so we can go and take the test. It's just right inside. Well, looks like Desiree is not too happy coming face to face with this deputy again. Let's keep going. I'm not doing anything. So we're going it's in here to take the test. So first of all, look, we're not going to argue. We can put you back in the unit and take you right to jail. So okay. we're the ones. She's just getting the door for us. She's just getting the door for us. We're just going there. We're going to do the test. He's doing everything. He's doing it's a conflict. So I'm going to run the test, Desiree. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so let's go. He's running. I'm going to be on She's way. holding so the door for us. Go ahead. She's holding the door. I'm not going to be in there. She's just holding the door for us so we can go inside. I can't do both. I can't. Once inside, our suspect completes a breathalyzer test, but not without making a few final pleas with the officer. I want to go home, just sleep, and not do anything else. Please. Now we have to get this test done before anything else can happen. Oh no, if I lose this test, so, I will not have my kids. Right now the machine needs you to blow until the tone stops. I'm telling you, if I, pa if so, I don't pass this test, You said you were going to take the kids. test. Right now we're here. Now it's time to take the test, I'm okay? I'm telling you, if I Desiree, fail, I will not have okay, my kids. Okay, if the machine tones out, we're going to take it as a refusal and we're just going to take you right over to the jail. A big blow. Just take my a big blow. Breathe in real big. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. All right, give it a second. It's going to ask for a second sample. I cannot lose my... Okay, we got one more test. So, my ex-husband is on cocaine and everything. I cannot lose my kids. Not to him. Desiree recorded a blood alcohol level of 0.36. That's over four times the legal limit. Now headed for jail, our suspect shares some parting words for her favorite deputy. Yes. I will tell every fucking buddy how he...
No. You're about to catch another no. case. Okay, we're going to put you in there if you don't go in there. That's right. You need to listen. Take care. Take No, can't do that. So listen. We're going to listen now, Desiree. Right. Let's go. No, let's not pull that. I can't listen to you. Wait. Put your legs in, Desiree. Desiree, I'm going to go around and put you in. Desiree, just get in there. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Just get in there. Nobody's They're trying to, to transport you. Shut the fuck up. Just get in. Ow! Get it! That's not me, that's Kudrow. While she's en route there, let's head back to the scene where we hear the other side of this story from Sergeant White himself. Okay, uh, you're good to take the vehicle. Um, I gave Maddox the keys, he's gonna give them to you. You're good. Um, so what happened from your view? Because I heard you were out here with I her. have no clue. I was coming this way, I was tracking her phone because she was supposed to go get her son from football practice. Okay. I was already at home. I picked up my kid from Houston. I'm tracking her and I'm like, where are you at? She said she was on Joe Harvey. I was like, well, you need to get over there and get your son. So she wasn't responding. I'm like, this is kind of weird. Like she was on the phone, but she wasn't saying anything. And so I asked her, have you been drinking? She didn't say nothing. I was like, okay, tracking the phone, tracking the phone. I hear a call come out and they described my car. I don't know my 28, but I know my car. If you describe it to me. I'm driving down this way, I see Solomon parked down there, and I'm like, why ain't he doing nothing? Because she was right here where my car is, look. She was like this. She was at this angle, facing that way, right where the car was resting. She was right here. So I swing around, and I pull up next to her, and I said, hey, man, turn the car off. Because I didn't know if she had the baby or not. My focus was to get the car stopped to get the baby out. If you drive off and you crash, that's on you. But Solomon saw it. She started rolling forward, and I said, stop her. She was rolling, just like, not accelerating, but you know if you got your car in drive and you just mm -hmm. come off the brake, you'll start rolling. So she literally just... rolled from here to right there. Above. I ran up, I snatched the door open, I put the car in park, I turned it off. I didn't see the key fob, but I have my spare. I keep my spare in my, in my unit. I put it in park, I turned the car off, I didn't say a word to her. I ran around the other side because I could see baby's feet. So I'm trying to think before she gets the conscious effort to try to put this car back in drive or turn it on, I run around, I grab the baby. And then I ran right up to her mom and I was like, take the baby. Olenek rolls up, he was like, Sarge, we got it. I said, please deal with that. And I backed up. That's was exactly the baby happened. strapped in and yeah, everything? She was strapped in. That's a lot for us to process. So we head back to our suspect, who is just arriving at the jail and in true fashion being a bit, let's just say, difficult. <laughs> I need you to come on here for me. Stop. I need you to come on here. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Don't. Okay. I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you gonna get out? I need to go home. You're not gonna go home right now. I have to. Just walk this right. way. Please, I have to go home. Okay, you got your seatbelt on or is it off? Come on, it's off. Okay, oh, listen. Uh, you can talk to me I here. I have okay. to go home. home. Okay, well, let's talk in here. <laughs> do this. Come on, Miss Ortega. Here, go ahead and get off. I can't. It's easier if you come, you follow the instruction and come out. I'm just telling you I can't. Okay, I'm gonna tell you one more time. Why can't you? Are you intoxicated at this time? No? Okay, we'll, we'll help you. Come on. Scoot the officers way. are willing to help you, so I suggest you go that way. Officers? I'm, I'm asking you, are you going to get off? No? Okay. I need no. you to get off. Hey, hey, ow! Come on. Ow! Stand up. <laughs> Come on. Desiree was booked in charge with aggravated DUI, abuse of a child, two counts of battery on a police officer, three counts of resisting arrest, reckless driving, and an open container charge to top it all off. Check the back seat. Check the back seat. Yeah, that thing's scary. Don't even try to resist. I'm not trying to resist. I'm telling you right now. And as for that baby. Hi. Can I see the 
down, little one. Yes, ma'am. Do you want me to take her out? Uh, no, it's okay. Just so I can lay eyes on her. Thank you. You don't have to take her out. I just want to... So she was, she was in the car seat and she's good. Safe and sound with Grandma. Oh, hi. She is a cutie. Oh, my God. Is, very cute. is that your daughter? Yes. Is she okay? Do you know? I mean, depressed and drinking, drowning out, whatever, you know? I, I don't know what to do, you know? Yeah. You don't need me to keep her out? No, it's okay. You're you're actually, um, you're good to go. I can leave now? Yes. Who leaves our deputy with one last piece of advice? Okay. I okay. would you, don't be drinking now. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but you're, you're good to go. Thank you.